So let's explore the new light feature, the now shape suite, key shots 8. One of the amazing things with this uh, new version of key shot is we can simply just go ahead and create any geometry of our choice. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and create a sphere and I'm going to drag this sphere all the way up and I can double click on this sphere and now if you notice within this light source we now have a spotlight which means we can now attach a new kind of light to our object so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the spotlight and for this uh, tutorial you would notice that the minute we selected the spotlight we now have the spotlight casting on our vehicle other lights still has this support which means you can change any geometry to light like if I go over and select the point light or maybe if I come through and select the IES light you get to see the light and you can also see the values that this light has so for example I can come through and I can increase the radius of the light the way I want I can also increase the multiplier if I choose and you can see so I'll go over and select the spotlight which is a new feature which we'll be looking at as well and what we can do with the spotlight is pretty amazing for this uh, example I will go as much as uh, switching this background so let me come over to environment and instead of leaving this background as the sky background which you can get from the environment tab I would switch this to color okay so now I've switched it to color you can see exactly how the light is affecting the model so if I come through and increase the bright the, the radius, I can have the light flush more or, or illuminate more parts of the vehicle. I can also come through and increase the beaming angle and also the fall off. I'll end up having a much more sharper uh, light casting within the area of the car. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the fall off uh, just a little bit and maybe the radius as well so the fall off makes your light much more softer at the edges while the beaming angle helps you increase how much of the light will beam around the car if you turn on the constant light output what happens is it punches more light into the car we can go ahead and also increase our color stencil diameter and we can also change the color of the light which we are using okay so i'm going to go ahead keep this light at uh, white i'm going to raise this a bit higher i'm going to also increase this as well and drop the fall off a little bit lower and let's see what we have here other things that are worth noting is you can come over to the texture section of the spotlight and you can add a color or a texture that you want this to have let's say you want to use some textures to block the areas where light should affect and not, uh, or not affect you can select here and if you already have a pre-designed alpha you can use the pre-designed alpha and and get it to work here or you can simply select within here to pick as much as I mean and to pick the available templates that exist here already so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way down here and pick this noise texture and if I select the noise texture you can see how the noise texture is affecting the car so I'm going to turn this off and you're going to see what we have and if I turn it back on you can also see what we have you can go ahead and increase the magnitude because the because the noise texture is a sub procedural texture so we can increase the magnitude and reduce that as well we can also go ahead and increase the scale and we can uh, also change the colors of the texture but one thing to note is this texture panel or this texture section makes use of the black and white so if you're changing this to any color it's just going to look around and see the black and white values and those are the values that it's going to make use of so this is the new light feature that ship suite key shot 8 and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends 
and if you're not subscribed to this channel please hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you get updates next time i upload a new video and so far so good guys peace